So class 5 here I am back with your English literature the chapter the little bully so let's start with the next half the first half I have explained it in the first video so here I am with the next half open page number 82 just as he was beginning on the eggs he heard a hoarse sound saying to him good morning I am so pleased to meet you a little boy like you turned around and stared in fright whatever do you think Hari saw a monster crab walking sideways out of the pool. His eyes were on the ends of short stalks and he looked most queer. He held his front claw to Hari. Hari put out his hand to shake the claws, a crab's claw, but to his surprise and anger, the crab opened his pincers and pounced his hand so hard that the little boy yelled. So once Hari was starting to have his learn what happened somebody was talking that i was waiting to meet you this and that and when hurry turned and saw that it was a monster crab a big one and suddenly the crab was moving forward to hurry and that crab got hold of hurry's hand and hurry started to move his hand and shake off the crab but to his uttermost surprise the crab was gripping the hand more hardly than before whenever hurry was trying to shake it off and Hari was started shouting that what is happening to him. Ah, here is my good cousin, said the crab pleasantly. And to Hari's horror, he saw a large sandy lobster crawling heavily out of the pool. Before the little boy could stop him, the lobster took his hand in his great pincers like claws and pinched it so hard that Hari yelled in pain. So the crab was pinching in one hand and suddenly the crab said, Oh, here is my cousin. And then Hari saw there was a big grand lobster coming out from the pool. And that lobster also started pinching on Hari's hand with the pincer. Pincer is the type of the uh, thing that the crabs, lobsters and all these animals have with the help of which they catch their prey. They just pinch it on the prey and hold it up. So Hari was shouting in pain and he can now understand how a pinch feels in the hands. Then he star stared at the pool in surprise for out came sandy colored shrimps and prawns, more crabs and other large lobsters and pricked hurry till he was soon black and blue with their pinching. Don't you like it said all the creatures in surprise. Why we are told you love to see us because you were a champion pinching and pricking yourself. Come, come, join in fun. So all the creatures, Hari then saw everything, prawns, crabs, shrimps, everything was coming out from the pool and they everybody started pinching Hari black and blue. As the mark turned black and blue, I told you, when once you pinch it harder, it becomes turns blue. So now the lobster and the crabs are asking, aren't you liking it? Because you are the master in pinching and pricking. You do it every day with your friends. So come, join us. We want to play this. But Hari was crying out in pain. Hari leaped to his feet, crying loudly. His lunch rolled onto the pool. And when the crabs and lobsters saw it, they ran to it and began to eat it. Obviously began to feast eagerly. Hari saw that they had forgotten him for a time and he turned and ran to his life for his life, tears streaming down his cheeks. So what happened? Hari then realized that this is not good. He was leaping down, lying on the floor and crying loudly and his so big grand lunch fell into the pool. So then all the lobsters, crabs and they all thought, oh my god, such a huge food to have. They all ran into the pool for the food and they were having a feast, a grand feast type of a party. And then Hari was running for his life. He thought that all of them are gone for the food, now let me run back. And he was crying and tears were streaming down his eyes. They only did to me what I keep doing to the other children, he thought. But how it hurt and how I hated those crabs and lobsters. I suppose the other children hate me too. Well, I jolly well shan't pinch or prick anymore. So, now Hari thought and realized that this is the same thing I am constantly doing with my friends and the fellows. So, this is the way they are also hurt and the way I am hating all the creatures, my friends also hate me. 
then he realized everything which he did was wrong so from that time he thought he are not going to do any bad thing to anybody not only friends not to anybody okay so this is a good story with a moral that you should not do anything wrong to anyone because whatever you are going to do it will come back to you some day or the other okay children so read this thoroughly nicely go through all the words uh, hard words which you think learn all the spellings properly and in the next video you will get your class work worksheet okay thank you class 10